Hello lovely people of cyberspace. It's Chris Braverman and today I am in Mini Miz, his room, my son. And uh, I am going to be reviewing The Cell. The Cell playset here. Got it at Toys R Us. Um, it was, I believe it was originally going for uh, 70 or 80 bucks. But um, I got it on special during the holidays uh, for 30 bucks, which is pretty darn cool if you uh, think about it. So um, yeah, here it is. It's The Cell. And uh, we all know that it's actually Hell in the Cell, but for uh, promotional purposes and, uh, you know, to not upset uh, any parents, we, uh, WWE and Mattel just named it The Cell. So um, of course, it's already unboxed and there it is there. Um, so it comes with a basic ring and of course the cell that you have to put together as you can see there it says unassembled so I've already assembled it um, the basic ring comes with these stickers uh, that say the cell on it and then these WWE stickers as well which I haven't attached uh, to that basic ring but um my son has like four or five basic rings so we just use the first ever basic ring that we've got so um pretty much you can swap out whichever basic rings you want to use so even if you want to use the uh, WCW ring over there inside the hell in the cell you can do that which by the way that's the steel cage match BTW so anyhow this is the impressive structure known as hell in the cell and since we're all wrestling fans here, uh, even if you are a kid, you already know that WWE calls this structure the Hell in the Cell, not the Cell. So, um, you know, just to save Mattel's butt, they named it the Cell, but it's really Hell in the Cell. So for us wrestling fans, I'm just going to refer to it as Hell in the Cell. And like I said, um, this is not the basic ring that came with the cell. This is my son's first basic ring. It was a, actually a SummerSlam ring, and it has the SummerSlam logo there. And I also added WrestleMania logos to it on each side. Um, this ring did not come with that current WWE logo. It came with the older one, so I added that one. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much... Uh, the cell here, this is the front of it. I'll show you how that works. So it's got a door there which you can enter. You can make the figures enter through and it's got a padlock. The cell does come with a padlock here. And the way that works is uh, just yank it out through here or to tie it back on. You know, you know how to do that. And then this door opens just like the real home of the cell. You can enter through there. Um, it's got these latches here which hold the cell in place take this off and then voila the cell opens so now you're probably wondering um, during the Hell in the Cell match in real life that doesn't happen right uh, it doesn't happen but the reason they made it that way is for uh, action figure purposes so that way uh, if you're a child or if you're a big kid at heart like me and you want to play with the figures inside the cell of course you need some space to do so so that's why they made these openings here, because um, you're not going to be able to play with the figures, two figures at once, like that. You can't put both your hands. Let me show you. <laughs> you can't put. Oh my god. Do you see that there? They have no space whatsoever. Anyhow, you get the point. So um, each side opens up, so that way you can, you know, put yourself on each side. Or if you want to have four guys, your four friends battling it out inside the cage with four figures. You can do that so now this here I left this open um, to show you guys how exactly you latch on the walls the panels for the uh, hell in the cell here so on um, these things here is where you attach the cage sides to the panels so I'm gonna start with this one pretty fast and then this connects to this pretty much I'm do that fast. Sorry. So, uh, pretty much something like just push it in. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but um, I'll put this down just for a second. Okay, so there you go. It went in. So 
so it's locked in there. Um, the cell is a little faulty with uh, these side panels because um, you can get two in just great. You know these sockets here, two of them you can get them in just great. But then the bottom ones, they don't connect very well. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. And it wasn't me. It's not that I uh, damaged it too much because I take very good care of all of our stuff, you know, especially my son's stuff because he's like me. He's pretty much OCD and uh, he likes to have everything in tip top shape. So, um, yeah, the reason that it doesn't click very well is not because of me. I guess it was just, you know, it came out faulty. Mattel probably made it like that. I can't exactly show you. Okay, that one went in fine. So, with one hand, I'm going to try to do this. So you see here, those two went in just fine. But then these bottom ones, they don't exactly, you're going to have to push down on it. So that's something that's not very, very cool. Or like Carlito Caribbean, Caribbean Cool would say, that's not cool. Right? Okay. So you went in. So with a little force, it will go in. But if you swing it open... This starts to come out up there. It's not really doing it right now, but it usually does. So, my, there you go, you see? My point is, is that it doesn't attach very well. So, one um, comment box, huh? Uh, it's time to make that comment box handy. If you guys have the cell, if you know of any way for me to fix that, so that way everything locks into place accurately and nicely, so that way, I don't have to force down on it. Please let me know in the comment box below so that way I can fix that. So um, let me connect this really fast so I can show you what it looks like. And here's this side completed now. So like I said, it has these latches to latch onto on the top and the bottom. You remove them and then these doors or these side panels open. So that way you can stick your hands in there and have some matches on this side as well. Same thing. And of course, on that side as well. That one I didn't close up too good because it's having the same problem. On the side, this side thing, on that side, that's going on there. So um, this panel here, it's a little different from the others. Um, these are just regular panels that stick right up. And then this panel here, uh, it like, it folds over. So like that, oh my God, just in case like, Let's say you toss a figure into there. You want to give it the effect that that throw into the cage, open it up with enough force that happens. So that comes off, it attaches to here. And like I said, this is a bendable portion of the cage. Here's the top of the cell up here. And we already know what happens up here. Um, you know, mayhem ensues. So just like in the games and just like in real life, in the actual Hell in the Cell matches, um, you can slam your opponent through the top of the cell. And this cell here, the playset cell, has these two doors there. You can slam your opponent through it. They fold open. They open up, actually. And, uh, yeah, your opponent heads straight into the ring there. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. And... Um, so before I do that, actually, I'm going to show you that um, the cell, those doors there, they don't actually latch on very good. They're barely hanging on. Again, another faulty part of the cell. If I just slightly push in, it goes down. Same thing with you. As far as pretending that I was walking on it, you know, it would just open up. So, not much. So that's, see, it, it barely latches on. I have to have it, I have to do some special just at the edges it latches on but they're falling apart see how it's going in it's not standing up there so that's something faulty about it but um you know for now it'll do and um, you know my son enjoys playing like that you see if he barely walks on it he just it opens up so I'm assuming it wasn't supposed to be like that but for some reason uh, my cell came out like that and uh, again it's not the fault of mine. Uh, it's not my doing. It's not that I assembled it wrong. It's not that I was too rough with it. It's just that's the way it came. So anyhow, I'm going to have Neville demonstrate what it's like to uh, put your opponent through the top of the cell. So here he is. Here's Neville. Hi Neville. 
right there. He's going to suplex Itami through that door. So ready, one, two. Oh my God. And let the other one open because of the force of this one. They barely even touched this side and that open. So like I said, again, there's something faulty going on there that they don't actually latch on right. But my son and I get it to do what we need it to do. That's what it looks like after the mayhem has gone down and and after the guys, the wrestlers, have gone down to the top of the cell. Ah, so that's pretty awesome. Um, the ring, it, it, like I said, it's removable. You can have the cell set up there like that. You can just remove the ring. Uh, this end here of the ring attaches to this end here. So the ring has an opening for that and it can go there to hook on so that way the cell doesn't move. And like I said before, you can put any basic ring there. So let me try to put the WCW ring on there for you so you can see. And voila, like I said, you can replace the basic rings. So here the WCW ring is inside of the cage so that way you can have Hell in the Cell matches with your WCW ring or your WCW figures. If you have a figure fed, you can make it a WCW Hell in the Cell match or the WCW Hell in the Cell pay-per-view, whatever you want to do. So yeah, let's close this side up again. Like I said, this part on the side does not attach properly. So it'll come off every now and then. And uh, yeah, latching this latch on. And I'm gonna try to make this one go one-handed, but uh, doesn't seem to be doing that. But anyhow, you get the picture. There they are, Itami and Neville are about to square off, even though Itami has his back turned to Neville, who Neville has recently turned heel. So I don't think you should turn your back on Neville right now, dude. And uh, once again, let me show you on this side how the hinges here are not exactly in place. They keep coming off. See the bottom here? Just at any, you know, basic motion, they'll come off, which uh, I'm sure Mattel didn't intend to design it like this. They wanted it to be sturdy and to just stay on so that way you or your child don't have to uh, continue to fix that all the time because it does become annoying. At times, my son gets annoyed. He gets angry, actually. <laughs> And uh, there are times where he actually cries because he gets so frustrated that this doesn't stay on the hinges and I have to come and fix it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's the hell in the cell. Clearly, you can see it and uh, it, it's beautiful. It's a big, you know, structure, uh, just like this elimination chamber is right there. They're big structures. They're awesome, phenomenal structures. I can't believe they made play sets like this for the WWE, but kudos to Mattel for doing so. Like I said, the only downside is uh, some of the uh, reproductions of this Hell in the Cell might have this problem here, which I do, um, because I had a friend who actually purchased the cell and I put it together for him and it didn't have this problem. So some of these Hell in the Cell uh, play sets might have that problem. And unfortunately, it was mine. That ended up having the problem so if you have it and uh, you found out a way for this to not happen you found for the a way for the hinges to stay in place please comment below and let me know how you did that because i want to solve the problem if not of course i can just buy another one right but uh i doubt i'll find it for 30 dollars again i have to pay 80 dollars and uh why would i do that if i can just fix it so if you know how to do that if you have a solution for that please let me know in the comment box below because i want to know well, that's it, guys, for my uh, Hell in the Cell review, The Cell review. Like I said, it's an awesome, impressive-looking structure. It's huge, and uh, even people, friends of mine who come over to the house, they don't watch wrestling, and they see this huge thing sticking out in my son's room. They're like, whoa, dude, what is that? that that's impressive. And I'm like, yeah, that's The Cell. <laughs> and I got to explain to them what it is. But, uh, yeah, it's a phenomenal uh, playset. I'm glad Mattel made it. The only downside to it, again, like I said, is the hinges. So um, it could be just mine or others that were made at the time. And uh, it came out this way. So for that purpose, I'll give it a B. But uh, in terms of view, like look at it. It's impressive. In terms of what it looks like in appearance, I'll give it an A. But for performance-wise, B. That's what I'll give it for now. Until I can actually find and say 
that there is one that exists that uh, doesn't, that isn't faulty. Well, like my friend's, his wasn't faulty, but mine's is pretty faulty. So mine, like I said, for me and my overall experience, I'd give it a B. But image-wise, appearance-wise, I'd give it an A. Anyhow, definitely go pick up the cell, guys, so you can have your Hell in the Cell matches. Hopefully yours isn't as faulty as mine. It's an impressive structure. Again, uh, it'll impress your friends. Uh, it's a sight for sore eyes. Even for me, um, you know, I, I'm wowed every time I look at it and how big it is. And it definitely does stick out in my son's room. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. He's got a lot of play sets. Uh, the cell is the tallest, of course, but... Um, the elimination chamber is also huge, so um, the cell is excellent. I love it. Go get it. And that's all I gotta say about that. And that's the bottom line, because Chris Braverman said so, dude. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Pretty please. Bye-bye.